This is the car that lets you own the road. The new Ford T-Series range. And at the heart of every one is a handcrafted engine that beats true blue. Six litres of unadulterated driving passion. An engine that not only delivers new levels of power and performance, but each one carries the indelible mark of quality craftsmanship not found on any other Australian car. All of the parts which change it from 5 litres to 5.6 come from Australia. The crank, the conrods, pistons, head modifications, roller rockers, manifold, throttle body, all come from Australia. That's really important because historically, all of the V8 stuff I mean, comes, from, comes from the US, not this time. The engine originally begins life as a Ford 5-litre V8. From the moment each one enters the Tickford facility in Melbourne, it begins to undergo a dramatic transformation. The engine is first stripped down to the cylinder block. The intake manifold, rocket covers, fuel rails, injectors and the heads are all removed. Then the cylinder block assembly is further dismantled with removal of the camshaft and lifters. Following this, the pistons, conrods and crankshaft are removed and consigned to the recycling bin to make way for new parts. The cylinder block is completely washed to remove all traces of lubricant. Thick steel torque plates are bolted to the cylinder block to simulate the distortion that occurs when the cylinder heads are installed. All cylinders are then honed to remove any taper and to produce a near-perfect round cylinder. The cylinders are then finished with a plateau honing tool to further improve ring sealing and effectively run in the cylinder. The new crankshaft goes through a delicate in-house balancing process, complete with weights to simulate the conrod and piston assemblies. This ensures that it's finely tuned for the engine's eventual 250 kilowatt output. The crankshaft is fitted to the cylinder block, followed by the new lighter pistons and solid billet conrods, all engineered in Australia to suit the increased stroke of the 5.6 litre engine. The camshaft is replaced with a Tickford-developed high-performance version. Its profile helps the engine breathe better. From here, the reassembly of the top end can begin. New, larger performance heads are machine ported in the throats, valve seat areas, exhaust ports and combustion chambers. The push rods are dropped in and new roller rockers are torqued down. They're also oiled for initial start-up to protect the top of the engine. Prior to the final stage, each engine is refitted with the original inlet manifold and undergoes a thorough hot run test. High flow intake manifold is fitted to the engine, giving optimum airflow to the intake ports and making the most of the new larger 82mm throttle body. The engine's injector rails go back on after the fuel pressure regulator has been modified to deliver more fuel. The original exhaust manifold is replaced by an all new assembly featuring high temperature ceramic coated headers. Then the final touch the signature of the Tickford technician whose hands have personally transformed this engine into another 250 kilowatt firebrand. And the result at the end of this exhaustive process... Awesome. It is good. It is a really good engine to drive. Um, it, it demonstrates torque from very low revs. Uh, it revs out freely. It revs out easily. And yet, it's a dream to drive around the streets. The boys have done a really good job. The new Ford 
six litre T series, the car with the engine that lets you own the road.